Greetings, greetings, peace, love, and light. I hope that you are well and in a blissful state of mind. But I do understand some of you are struggling, trying to trying to still your mind, trying to find inner peace, trying to center yourself. And you're looking for some tools, some tips, some guidance. How do I do that, Nanu? All right, I got the answer for you. I got the answer for you. Listen up. And if you watch all the way to the end of the video, I got something special for you, so a special gift. All right. Um, so how do you steal the mind? How do you steal the mind? Well, let, let's think about it like this, okay? How do you steal the mind? How do I quiet my mind? Okay. And I like I like to refer to the Bible sometimes, scripture, because I live here in America and it is still predominantly Christian. Okay, even those who ain't Christian don't go to church, you know, they still got a Bible in their house. And I'm from the South. Okay. So I'm sure a lot of my viewers are as well. Um, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about um how to steal the mind. Let's talk about what 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 causes the mind not to be still? Okay, we can't we can't talk about what causes the mind not to be still. Some of you may refer to it as the devil or demons. You know, you have that little angel on one shoulder, that devil on the other shoulder. You know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? You 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 want to know how to quiet all that out, right? You want to know how to quiet all that out. So, let's talk about that. How do you quiet all that out? Well, the Bible says if you resist the devil, then the devil will flee. Mm. If you resist the devil, then the devil will flee. When you have unnegative, unwanted thoughts, you know, what do you do? How do you resist that? How do you resist people you don't want to deal with? What if what if you got somebody bugging you and calling your phone? How do you resist that person? You ignore their phone calls, right? You can put your phone on silent, right? What about on Facebook? You got somebody bothering you. They bugging you. They keep making all these stupid comments on your page. They disrupting your peace. What you gonna do? You gonna block them? Just block them out, right? Right. So think about that. That same thing you do on Facebook. That same thing you do with your phone, right? It's the same thing you need to do. Right here in your mind is to just block it out, block it out, right? Well, that's I mean, that sounds good now, new, but how do I block it out? I don't know how to block it out. Well, practice makes perfect, right? Practice makes perfect. Um, a great way to begin blocking it out is to what focus on something else. Yeah, you focus on something else. Nobody has control of your mind except for you. You understand? So you can be proactive about what you are focused on. What are your thoughts focused on? Because you can't focus on but one thing at a time, really. Um, you can do it quickly, and that's called multitasking, just quickly switching over from thing to thing. But you're really only focusing on one thing at a time, even still, even if that's just a second, second to something else. Um, so, you know. Focus on something else. Focus on something that relaxes you. Focus on something that brings you inner peace. Focus on something that grounds you. You know, so you have to learn yourself and learn what those things are. I know for me, nature helps me to steal my mind. Sometimes I feel uneasy. I got to open up the open up the blinds, open up the windows, go outside, listen to the birds, put on some nature sounds, um, that kind of thing. Um, or even to just, you know, if I'm out and about, you know, I may, I could be at, just the other day I was at, I hopped with my family and I was just feeling so uneasy because I got a phone call really, really snake, snaky person called me on the phone with some snaky stuff, right? So I'm like, you know, it kind of really vexed me, killed my vibe. But I said, you know what? I need to steal my mind, right? So I'm right and I hop. I hop sidewalk and you know, I walk, I walk over to the tree. You know, I try to be inconspicuous about it, but look. I got to do what I got to do for myself. And you got to do the same thing for you. So I go, you know, I'm touching the tree, you know, leaning on the tree, you know, grounding myself, you know, my feet into the ground. I didn't take my shoes off, you know, but hey, if you bold enough, go on do that. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But I just, I didn't need to do all that. I just, 
lay my back on the tree and connected with the tree, touched the tree, and was able to release that negative energy um, into the, you know, release all of that negative energy um, so that I could absorb, absorb, you know, all the positivity, all the light, you know, and center myself and feel more me rather than letting somebody get me off of my square and off of my center. All right. Um, yeah. So let me know if that was helpful in the comments. If you have any questions about what I said, please drop it in the comments. All right. I love to hear from you and your thoughts. If you're implementing any of this, I want to know how it worked for you. If there's something else that you think works better for you, let us know. Let us know. Let's talk about it. Right. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got a special gift for you. I got a special gift for you. I got a special gift for you. Got a special gift for you. For y'all that don't know, I do do tarot readings. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of y'all think stuff like that is witchcraft. But witchcraft is actually when you have evil intent. It's not using tools. This is a tool. This is not witchcraft. If I use herbs to heal your body, you go to the doctor, they use medicine. You don't call that witchcraft, right? So natural healers, we're not, we're not doing witchcraft. We're not doing something that's evil or demonic. It's your intention that makes it evil and demonic. It's what's influencing you. It's what's possessing you as you're doing something that makes it evil and demonic. If I lay hands on you, if it, if I lay hands on you, it's what's inside of me and what my intent is, okay, that affects you. Not, not the, uh, not the act itself of laying on the hands that's affecting you. Okay, so y'all got to understand the difference between tools and uh, processes in actual demonic activity. Okay, in actual evil. We got to know the difference between the two. And the reason a lot of us don't because we're looking with these. We're looking with these and you're not looking with your spiritual eye and the insight that God gave you. So yes, I do do tarot readings. I have my... Um, my uh, elemental cards, you know, very, very nature, nature centric, you know, very nature centric cards. I tell you what, I will give you $10 off a reading, a card reading. Yeah. And my card readings are $30. Do simple three card reading, whatever question you have, $30. You get $10 off, it's $20. Right, go to my website and book your session. Right, go to my website, book your session. All right, goddessnandu.com. Peace, love, and lights.